G'day guys, I'm back with another how to build and today I'm going to show you guys how to build this. It is the broadsword from Halo 4. Halo 4 had its PC release this week so I figured why not go with a build from Halo 4. I mean I've had the broadsword built for a few years now so I figured it's time to show off how to build it. So with that said, let's get to building. Just showing off all the different colours here already. That way if you want to pick a different colour, pick a different colour. We're going to make as grey or stone. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, so things you're going to need today are stone, uh, stone slab, stone brick stairs, grey concrete, Mm, oh, a sea lantern. We'll put that in the second to last spot. Uh, this should be glass, 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 glass. Uh, there it is, grey stained glass. Uh, dispenser. And a wooden fence post, which should be in front of me somewhere. It's probably staring me right in the face and I can't see it. No, I swear it's up the top. Oh, there it is. Oak fence. There it is. Right. So that's what we need today. Now, before we get into this build, I suppose I should probably let you know how big this thing is. It's going to be 23 wide, 8 high, and 25 long. So what we're going to need to do first is go to our stone slab. And if you're trying to build this, like if you build a frame and you're trying to build this within the frame, where we're starting off is like dead center which would be if it's 23 wide well then you go into the 12th block in the middle because that's the middle and then you'll have 11 each side and you want to go five in because this is the fifth spot fifth row in from the back all right so this block here that i've already placed down is the fifth block in and it's 12 in the middle so 12 across five in from the back not the front from the back all right so you want to do I'll actually just smack that out. So you want to place one stone block down. That way you can place one slab at the top. So it's sitting off the ground. You'll smack that stone block out. And you'll go three across like how I just had it. From there, you want to make that row of three, six long to the front. So we've already got one, two, three, four, five, six. Like so. From there, you want to swap to your stone block or your building block, whichever one you, whatever color you're doing it. And then you want to add this on top of all the slabs. Where's my diva thingy? Did I get rid of it? I must have. Oh, my builder's wand. Ah, uh, that's fine. We can do it without it. Don't need it this week. But then I want to add a row on each side. I'm going to apologize in advance. This is going to be one hell of a tutorial on how to explain how to build this. It's so fidgety and finicky. All right. Now, on the front side, on the middle block, looking at the top half, we want to add one slab there. So it's at the top. Like so. We're then going to come around to the back. We're then going to swap to our stone brick stairs. Look at the middle one, look at the top again, so that way we can place one upside down like so. We're then going to swap to our building block, which for me it's stone. We're then going to add two stone on top of this. Swap back to our stone brick stairs, add one upside down and one up the right way. So it looks like so. What is that water rushing sound? Am I like, I must be over something that I've done underwater. From here we then want to swap back to our stone block or building block and we want to add four rows each side of this. We've got one, two, three, four and then one, two, three, four. Like so. 
We're then going to swap to our stone brick stairs and we'll leave a gap here. Look at the next block out. We want to add two upside down, two up the right way, two upside down, and two up the right way. So you're looking at something like that. And we want to do the same on this side as well, because whatever we look, what we do on one side of this build today, we do on the other. It's a symmetrical build, which is what I like. So that's what you should be looking at right there. From here, we're going to go to a sea lantern. And on the spot above here in the gap, we're going to add one sea lantern there, one sea lantern there. Hey, and guess what? We're done with that. Return to the water with ye. There you go. I returned it to its nat natural habitat. That's literally all we needed the sea lantern for. Alright. Then from here, we're going to swap to a slab. And we want to do a row of three. And then on the last one on the outside, we want to add one more to the front. Like so. And what? just while we've got this out, on top of the sea lanterns, we're going to do a row of three. And we want to do a row to the back and in front. So you literally have a little, a little three by three square there and the sea lands basically sit in the middle. But on the middle one towards the front, we want one stone block so that seals that off inside. Now we're going to come to the left hand side here because we're going to build the outer wings now and where we've added the stone slabs here we're going to swap, swap to our building block, which I've already got out. And at the back here, we're going to add two there. Swap to our stairs. Add two normal stairs. Whoops. On top. Come around the other side. Look at the top half, because we want to add two upside down. Swap back to our building block and add two on top of the upside down stairs. And then one slab on top of the building block at the back. So you should be looking at something like that. From here, we want to swap to our slab, which I've already got out. And then looking at this slab here, the block below it, at the top, we want to add one there with two behind it, so a row of three. Then the middle one, we want to add another row of three going back. We then want to add, temporarily, one block there, so we can look at the bottom half and add two slabs there, another two, and on the back one, just one. So you should be looking at something like that. Alright? Seems a little difficult, but hey, we'll get there. Actually, do you know what? We'll do the other little bit of the wing while we're here. Alright, looking at this little weird thing of stairs that we've just done, on the bottom left one that's upside down, the block next to it, on the bottom, we want to add one slab there. Come out to the side here, and we want to go, we'll just temporarily add a block there, bugger it. We'll look at the bottom of that, add a slab, smack that out, add another slab, then just temporarily, we'll look at the front slab, add a block, swap to our slab, look at the bottom half of this block, add a slab, smack that out. So you should have that, a little, a little step down. Now that, now that we've done that, we're just going to repeat what we've done here, onto this side. So it's just a mirrored thing, so all you got to do is just copy what you've done. It's pretty straightforward at the moment because it's, it's it's the back and it's not that difficult at least I don't think it is actually I lie I do yeah pretty straightforward 
And one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we go. Temporarily, we add another block at the front. Then we go. Boop. Boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Then we go. Boop. And then temporarily add a block. Oh, that would do. Boop. Boop. So that's what you should be looking at so far. Like I said, it should be symmetrical, even Steven. Pretty straightforward so far. In theory. Alright, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to come back up the top. And where we have this 3x3 three three of slabs, we're going to swap to a building block. And we're going to add a 3x3 three three of that in front of it. So... Oops, that's the back. We want the front. Towards the front, idiot. God, do you even know how to build? Alright, from here, we're then going to swap to our stone slab. And we're just going to add a row of three at the bottom half. On each side. Like so. Then from here, I'm going to swap to our stone brick stairs. Oh. And next to the slab that's sitting just here, we want two normal stairs. So we want them facing up. So just one, two. One, two. All right. We're now going to swap back to our stone block. And we're just going to look at this slab here that I'm looking at. And we're just going to trace around. Because that will fill in the gap nicely. See, it fills in the gap. It's beautiful. Alright, so from here we're going to add one to the front, one out. Then we're going to do that again, except we want five rows of like this two here. So we've already got one. I know this sounds confusing. Like I said, this is going to be hard to explain how to do. So we want to go, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Now on this front row, we want to swap to our stone slab and we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's what you should be looking at. So it's a row of five there with some stone slabs in the front. Now from here, not the first stone block from the stairs, but the second one, we want to add one slab at the top. Hang on. Whoop. There. Then we want to go to our building block and we want to come two more out. So one, two. We then want to go three to the front. So it levels up with what we've got. We want to fill that in so it's even Steven like so. We're then going to swap to our slab. And at the back, we're going to come one in and do a row of three. Then a row of two. Then a row of three with the extra one being at the front. And then a row of two. Now then when we come to the front here, next to this other lot of slabs that we've done, we want to do, looking at the top half still, we want to do a row of three. And then on the inner side, we want to do, whoop, shit, two more. So you should be looking at something like that. Now we're going to do come underneath. Because underneath, at the back here, where we have this first slab here in the, uh, not slab, building block in the corner. With our slab, we want to add one underneath, followed by two building blocks, and one dispenser, which should face towards the front. From here, we're going to swap back to a stone slab. We're then going to go two across, but we want it to be three back. So we've already got one, two, three, two, three. 
So, we then want to go do another row of three, but we want this to be one down. So I'm just going to add temporarily a block there. So you want something like that. And then we want to go down one more, but we only want it to be a row of two. So I'm going to add temporarily a block there. So you should be looking at something like that. Or like that. Now we get to fill this part in, the, the back part, or the wall, the side, whatever. Where we have these stairs, we're going to do a row of stone, or building block, that leads up to that. Underneath the two stone stairs, under these two blocks, we want to swap to our slab, and we want to add two there the building block behind it and then we want to go a row of stone up to that slab there and from here we want to add go to our stone slab and from the back we want to go four to the front so that's what you should be looking at so those two slabs should be sitting in the middle of this row of four that's what you're looking at now just before we go on to the other side, what well we have these two slabs here, on the first stone block behind it, we want to add one stone block just there. So that's it, that's, that's that side done. So now we've got to repeat what we've done here, onto the other side. So you can either mirror it if you want, if you feel like you're a confident builder, or you can just try and watch me. I'm just going to probably speed build this a little bit, probably not explain it too much, but because like I said, it is a mirrored build. And if you make a mistake, then no biggie. I mean, we all make mistakes. Ah. Look at us go building this thing. We're, we're cruising along here. I thought this would actually be harder to do. Ah, oh, underneath. I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, but... I actually did seriously think this was going to be extremely hard to explain how to build. Whoops. That said, I've had this build sitting around for like six years. I think I showed this off like in my one year anniversary video, which was like in 2013. God. Uh, 2014, sorry. So this build has been sitting around for like six years. Just casually been sitting around for six years. Oof. And now that Halo 4 is out, what a time to build it. Or show it off. Or do it. All of the above. Thanks, Master Chief Collection. Your timing is impeccable. How's that look? That looks pretty... Pretty symmetrical to me. Yeah. Just checking this out, make sure I haven't stuffed it up. But no, I haven't. Alright. So we're going to do the underneath first because I think that's going to be harder to do. Obviously. So what we want is on this one 
slab that we have here. We're going to swap to our building block. We want to go five across. Whoops. Like so. And we want three rows to the front. So we've already got one. Two. Three. Now we're going to swap to uh, grey concrete. And we're going to go in the middle. We're going to look at the bottom and go one, two. We're going to smack... Pardon me. We're going to smack that one out. Swap to our stairs. Because we want to add one upside down. Facing like so. We're then going to swap back to our grey concrete. And we actually want this grey concrete to be three long. So we've already got one. Then we're going to go two, three... Swap to our dispenser and add one facing to the front. And guess what? That's all we need the dispenser for. From here, we're actually going to swap to our oak fence. And on the front grade concrete, we're going to add a fence there, a fence there, one above, and one behind it. And we're going to do the same on the other side. So two there, two on top, one behind. All right, now from here, in the middle, we're going to swap to our stone slab, and at the block at the back here, we're going to look at the top half, and we want to add slabs until we get one past the dispenser. So you're going one further out. All right, now from here, what we want to do is we want to swap back to our stone block. We then want to go... On either, doesn't matter which side you do this on, we want to go one out. Swap to your stone brick stairs. Come underneath and look to outwards because we want it to face upside down and come out like so. We then want to swap to our building block and go one, two. Swap to our slab and place one at the top half. So that's what you should be looking at. And again, we want to do this on both sides. So upside down and facing out. Ugh, I can't get out. A block behind it, a block to the front, and a slab to the front up the top. Okay. Now that seems a little bit unusual. But if you're looking at it, that's what you should be looking at. All right. From here, we're going to swap back to our building block. And on this block here, we want to add a couple more. And by a couple, I mean literally two. So we've got whoop, two more. On this, we're, uh, actually at the top block, we'll come forward one. We'll swap to our slab and we'll add one underneath like so. And then two on top. So these two should be at the same level as this one, which it is, which is good. We'll do the same on the other side as well, bugger it. We'll fill this in, in actually, do you know what stuff, let's just do it now. We'll do it now. Oh, I didn't have that extra block there. Boop. Pretty sure that's what that's supposed to look like. Let me just confirm. Yeah, it does. All right. So we're building towards the front now. On the... Uh... Yeah, bugger it. From this block here, We'll come in one, and then we want to go five to the front. So we have one, two, three, four, five. You can actually smack that one out if you want. You don't have to have it there. One, two, three, four, five. So that is still five there. So one, two, three, four, five. Now from here, we can swap to our stone slab and add one at the bottom half of the block, like so. 
So back to that stone blo building, well, building block. At one underneath. One to the front. So back to our stone slab. And looking at the bottom half, we want to go one on the bottom in front. One underneath. And then we want to go four more to back. So this slab should be a row of five to the back. So we've got one, two, three, uh, four, five. And the last two, we want to add two to the outside. Like I said, what we do on one side, we do on the other. You were not supposed to be there. All right, now from here, we want to go, we'll add, a, we'll swap to our building block and we'll actually add, make this a row of five. So we've already got two there. So we want to add three more. So three, four, five. We'll swap to our stone slab and we'll add one at the top there. Swap back to our building block and go one there, and then one there, and one there. Bucket will add one in the middle there too. We'll do the same on the other side. So we have a row of two, three, four, ah, five, and then just ah, one on top of all the fences. So we have one, two, we probably should finish off the front here now with their building block out doesn't matter which slab you look at if you're looking at the top one which I am we're just gonna go one two three four slab at the top of that one slab at the bottom of that one and that actually makes it to the front now underneath here where we have this hole we can just go to a building block and we can just take this line and just follow it back to that row of slabs that we did earlier. Which means that should all be sealed in on the bottom and the sides. Which it is. So it only leaves the top part to go. So we're going to start from the top. Actually, do you know what? We're finished with the fence. From here, we're then going to swap to our, not our glass, but to our slab. And on this second block back, we're going to add a slab. Swap to our glass, add two behind it. We can ditch that. We then swap to our slab. We're gonna go one there, one there, smack that one out because that one was only temporary. Swap to our building block and add two behind it. Swap to our slab and add two either side. We're then gonna swap to our gray concrete I'm going to add one behind the slabs. Now, if you did that right, that grey concrete should add, line up with this one slab indent here on each side, which it has. From here, we're then going to add a building block behind it, the grey concrete. We're then going to swap to a stone slab, and on top of that building block, we're going to add a row of three across, and one in the middle to the front. So it fills up that little hole. From here, on this middle slab behind, we're gonna to swap to our building block, add one, swap to our slab, place one on top, do three more to make a row of four to the back. And on the two in the middle, we're gonna add one each side. Ah. Now on this one that's at the front on the side, we're gonna add a gray concrete block below it. Actually, do you know what? It saves me going around the other side. We're then gonna to swap to a building block and we're gonna add two behind that concrete. And then a gray concrete behind those two. And then behind that gray concrete, we're gonna add two slabs, making sure that you're looking at the bottom part. So it's 
Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Now if you did that correctly, that should finally meet up with what we've already done, which it did. Now, as for in the middle here, where we have the two slabs, we're gonna swap to a building block and go block, 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 slab. And in this part here, actually I'm gonna come around the other side. <clears throat> that's the side we've been working on is underneath here we're just gonna go whoop, ah with a building block sorry boop boop hey so we're gonna do a row under that Now, it's just this last little bit here that needs to be done. So we've got this row of two slabs here. We're gonna do a row of a building block to the back, to the other row of slabs. But, on the first three, we're gonna add a row of slabs like that. So just three slabs there. And then same on the other side. Uh, And that's it, we're done. Now, if you want to, what you can do is building blocks. <clears throat> now it's under decorations. If you want, you then can, if you're building this in a different color, uh, that's light gray. Mm. You can, to make this look a little bit better, break out some carpet and just like over the wings, where you've got like all the slabs and the blocks and stuff like that. You can just go over it with carpet. I mean, on my other ones over there, I did the wings as well out here. And there. And I did this little bit here, and this little bit here. Ah, here. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. This is entirely your choice. Like I said, I just did it because I think it makes it look neater. But that is my choice. Um, but yeah, that's that's the broadsword from Halo 4 done. Now that Halo 4 has been released on PC, and it does look a lot better than what it did ha, eight years ago. So thanks, Master Chief Collection and 343 for giving us Halo 4 on PC, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this Halo 4 build of the broadsword. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you smack that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and tune in in a couple weeks' time for another How to Build. Until then, check out all these other glorious, colourful builds of which version do you want? Do you want grey? Green? Lime? Blue? I fucking I love the orange one. Yellow, red, or black. Look how beautiful they look. Until then, bye.